Cool that. D had the most equipment. Right. And him and Mario combined together. Okay, I'm here with Cool D and his brother, um, Tyrone the Mixologist. Um, now, y'all actually used to live in this building, right? Yeah. It's on Elder Avenue. What was it like living in this building, Elder Avenue? 1121 Elder Avenue, the apartment C4 we used to live in. Okay. Over here was really rough because, you know, it's an Elder Watson Avenue. We had right. the Yellow Brothers on the next block. Right. We had, well, about bad asses and drug dealers all up Watson Avenue. Okay. So it was glass all over the place. Glass. Yeah, glass all over the place. And when it got dark around here, the street lights wasn't probably working. You have one work on the block, probably. You know, so you had to be very careful how you walk around here. Right. And your rep it was important to have a reputation. Because if you have a reputation, nobody will bother you. Mm. So everybody knew it was a space, so we, we, we was cool around here. So when you first bought your equipment, you was actually living in this actual building. Yes. Okay. And deliver it. Deliver right here to the building here. And going to 123 Junior High School. I was out of Junior High School. You was out of Junior High School. High School. Yeah, High School. What was high school you went to? Stevenson. Went to Stevenson. Yeah. Okay. So that's when you got your equipment, when you was your first year at Stevenson, you're saying? Maybe second year. Second year? Yeah. Okay. 73. I graduated in 71. From, from, uh, okay, so what year you bought your equipment? Oh, 73. 73. Remember what month at all? May. May of 73, you bought your big equipment. Yeah. Okay, so the first place you played was Wheeler, right? Wheeler Avenue. Yeah, Wheeler Avenue. Black Party, yeah. Black Party. Okay, so then you started playing Bronx, then you met Mario and them. Yeah, I met Mario on Wheeler Avenue, and he saw me playing the Black Party over there. He was amazed and uh, he wanted okay. to, you know, get down, so. Right. We talk and we, you know, I knew him, but we, we, you know, I didn't know him all, but I knew him, you know. Then, right. then we got close to the music. Right. He, he wanted me, he wanted me to play um, um, in, in, the, in the park and stuff like that. So, in the park. Yeah. So when you came, you came to Rosedale Park next or Bronx Do you remember which one? I did the Bronx the Bronx first section first. Okay. Said, yeah, come on, let's go over there because he, he can get some electricity over there. Right. That's when Lady Wonder lived on first floor. First floor. Yeah. Okay, and then later on, well, it rose their park. Yeah, later on, it rose their park. Where would you say hip hop started? Well, I was I was doing a little bit in um, Bronxdale. Bronxdale. Yeah, Bronxdale. Right. Bronxdale sound you right around, right around here. Right. Spread this, around. Right from Bronxdale and this whole area, basically. Yeah. All right, so what was it like, like, you know, bringing the equipment back and forth up this block? What was it like? I mean, you, you told me you had to be like a bad ass. You had to be bad. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, all the work that was with speakers and stuff like that, you had to be, you know, pretty, you know, tough over here because the guys would probably take it from you. You know, you didn't have a reputation, but at the time we had a reputation. And Black Space walked up the block with it. We had no problems, no problems at all. Mm. Oh, so y'all would actually carry the equipment or y'all been well, in a van? Or yeah, that one that? time we carried the equipment we, when we couldn't get a, a van. We usually called like a parkway cab or, okay. or somebody take us in their van. Okay. But you know, that one time we couldn't get a van or a parkway cab. So we, Mario had got some guys together and about, about 20 guys and we, we each one of them took a piece. Two of them had a speaker. We wanted, two of them had the coffin. And, the bags and crates of records, mm -hmm. they was carrying all, all down, walk well, down Watson Avenue to Rosedale Park. Mm -hmm. So this is like the spring of 73, spring, summer of 73? 73, 74. Yeah. 73, 74. Okay, so when did you first play in Bronx River? Do you remember? Um, I played in Bronx River about 74. 74? Yeah, 74. And um, tell me more about that. First time I played in Bronx River, um, I, I, I set up by the, by the um, circle in Bronx River, and um, I got um, my electricity from Bambata mm. at the time. Yeah. Okay. From his house. From his house. From his house. Yeah. That's the first time, you know, I, I think Bambata that close to uh, equipment and, and stuff like that. 
Okay. Um, was he DJing at that time? You know? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Okay. You said before that you inspired Ben by the you that was his was that his inspiration to start DJing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he asked a lot of questions. He even brought out a record for me to play that day. Okay. And so he brought out a beat for me to play. Wow. So okay. that's what he tells you yourself that I'm his inspiration, so Oh yeah? You know where that's at, yeah. Okay. So that was you say seventy four? Yes. Okay. So so are you saying like y'all was playing all the projects like Bronx Still? That started Bronx Still. Did y'all play Soundview at all? Yes, we played Soundview. Soundview. We played Soundview. We played um Moreau. Right. And um we went to Bronx River. We played all the areas around here. And this is those early years, 73, 74, 75. Yes, yes. Right. And Mon Hunter Park, right? Yes, what about that? Monroe over there? Yeah. Mm. Alright, well I wanna see where your uh where your first party was. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go over there now. Alright, we're here on Wheeler Avenue, Wheeler in Westchester. Um, so you saying this was your first party? Right, right here in the middle of the block here we set up and we played a block party for the Wheeler Avenue Association. Okay. Down the block here. Where, where, where exactly did y'all set up at? Right, right, right there we see that band old couple right there. Wow. From one of the buildings y'all got electricity? Yes, yeah. floor, yeah. On the first floor. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And you said from the association, the who? The Willow Avenue. Willow Avenue Association. That was how they block put the game, the black party on that day. It's a bunch of the people own their houses over here. They give a block party every year. So was it Back for in the day. was it for older people or younger people no, or for every, the, for the every people on the block they they, they get it for? People on the block. Yeah. But we had all young people out here. Now you don't remember break dancing at this particular jam, do you? They were break dancing. Yeah, they were break dancing. They were dancing in the street. They were doing that, yeah. Yeah. And this, what year is this about? Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Yeah. Spring, summer, seventy-three. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Anything else about here, you remember? Uh, we had a, a boy, well, my vice president, Vince, Vincent, I mean, I don't want to say his public his name, but I said uh -huh. uh, Moses. Uh -huh. Black Moses used to live in that first building over there. Black Moses? Yeah, That's what we call Black, him Moses, Black Moses. Black yeah. Moses, He was the leader or something? He was the vice president of our division, yeah. Of your division? Yeah. You started off as a, as a young spade, right? Yeah. Young spade. Yeah. Your division, what was your division? First division, first chapter. Yeah, I had Crazy Mike, Crazy Phil, uh -huh. which they live on Bol Bolton Avenue. Okay. Bolton, yeah, so that you know, they was down with in my in my um, division. Bam Bottom was there. Bam Bottom. Bam Bottom was in your division. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Franklin. Greg. Mark. Tex. Jojo. Mm. Yeah, and JoJo used to be my MC, my first MC. Okay. He, he um, MC for Pete DJ Jones also. Okay. Yeah, so he was my first MC. Okay, so when did you leave the stage? When did you stop with the spades or? We never stopped where it was. You're always a spade, but you're always a spade, but you just not, you know, flowing in the, the activity. Right. So we weren't. We when we started DJing the the, the, the actual fluency of that and come to cease at that point because right. of the fact that we were playing music at the time. Right. So that's what okay. happened. But as far as being a spade, you never stop being a spade. You're right. spade for the rest of your life once right. you become one. But about 1977, I was in, in music. I, I really, I was, I was, we were doing our thing. So I, I was just too busy to be, you know, gang banging. So I think about that time, about that time, about 76, 76, 77, yeah. Did Black Moses take over? Who took over? Well, my division, uh, Bam Bata took over. That's what we call Bam Bata took over. Yeah. yeah. You went more pursued into your music. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was booked every weekend. Even some days on the, on the weekday, I, I just didn't have time. Sometimes it was booked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
Monday, Tuesday we had a break, then it comes back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, so we're kind of busy at that time.